it going guys? This is Brian with Veloworthy and I'm here with local favorite Rob, who is the king of the local uh, pump track. How you doing, You're too Rob? kind, you're too kind, doing good. <laughs> good, so first of all, for the people that don't know, what is a pump track? A pump track is just what it says it is. It is a track meant to pump. When you're going through it on your bike, you shouldn't be pedaling at all, right? Ideally not. You can take some pedal strokes getting into the track, but once you get into the pump track with the berms and the features, you should be able to either add or subtract speed all by pumping your bike. Okay, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take an expert with a rookie on the pump track to actually see what a roadie slash gravel guy can do on a track like this. So stay tuned and we'll check it out. Ideally no paddling. Okay. That's the rules, the rules of the pump track. No. <laughs> well, I guess rule number one if you don't crash. Yeah. And then tie it up the metal. What about braking? Ideally not. Okay. I think if you're using brakes, Oh, you already have good kind of like letting the bike move under you skills right now, which is really good. I would think to actually bend the knees maybe just a little bit more. Because then you have, like I said, a little bit more availability to push the bike down on the back side of the feature. So the idea is you want to keep the tires on the ground through all of this stuff. So it's kind of like lift with pressure on the front. And then once that, that front tires cleared the obstacle, you got to start pushing your your feet into the backside of it. And that's when you'll really start taking off. And you get that speed like you're getting right now. That's perfect, man. Okay. Too <laughs> I know, man. <laughs> These aren't drop bars, dude. You're doing really good. All right, we'll do one more. And, you know, to be honest, this is not the easiest pump track to ride. This is not like a professionally built thing. Right. This is your, your neighborhood pump track, so. Looking solid. The fundamentals of the pump track down, all these things are really left for creativity then at that point. So, you know, having the option to manual and jump different things is kind of where you can hone different skills because it's a lot of reacting and different body positioning and all that other stuff. So once you get the, the fundamentals of pumping, essentially all a manual is connecting two points on one tire. So you're still doing that same movement of up and down driving with the legs. It's just from a off the back of the bike position. Okay. Um, for speed, it's mostly like looks good. There's there's a few implications of like getting faster with those types of yeah. things, but now you know. do you ever like accidentally like case it on at the top like yeah when I you case don't time it right a lot yeah so that's the one thing that's good about the pump track too is everything's pretty safe and and if you're in a in that good neutral riding position you can absorb a case and not crash a lot of times because nothing's too sharp out here but. Um, again, it, it uh, maybe allows a little bit more of a safe environment to try some different and creative things on the bike, you know? not a bad thing. Yeah, you can feel how the weight gets heavier on the bike at that point in the berm too, can't you? Yeah. So right now just working on pushing into the berm too. So not just pumping the bumps, but coming in here, loading the pedals, push, good exit. See how much more speed you get though coming out of that. 
and you're like you're pulling up when you exit right exactly so you push into that like just past the apex and then pull up and you're on to the next one step and then uh I'm gonna do part of it once. sorry it's fine Okay, so we've gone around the pump track a few times. I'm definitely learning and feeling it in my legs. Rob, what are some key things that you're noticing that I'm doing right? And what are, you, what are some things that you're noticing that I should be improving on? So the first thing I noticed that you're doing really well was is you were definitely active and engaged on top of your bike. So you weren't just like dead sailor stiff. Um, there's some fluidity and, and you're in a good riding position for the most part to where you could react to something as well as, you know, navigate the features of the pump track. So that was the first thing I noticed. I was like, okay, this guy can ride. I'm like, this is good. <laughs> so far, so good. Yeah. How does, let's say, you know, somebody practices and practices and practices and commits, how does both the fitness and the line skills, if that's even a thing, how does that translate into, you know, that long day out on the gravel bike or road bike or in the group rides? Either? Absolutely. Well, as we're both feeling right now, in, in a very short amount of time, the heart rate's going up and the legs are burning. So it's definitely a lot different than the pedal stroke. But um, I think it's really effective cross training in that sense, because yeah, obviously your leg muscles are getting stronger and just the ability to position the bike and, you know, handle long grueling descents. Cause I mean, dude, gravel bikes, I see you guys getting, getting after it on those things. Like you got to have descending skills and the, the strength to, you know, wrangle a bike in when you're sliding down Black Canyon or something like that, you know? Got it, got it. Well, for you, what do you do at home? Comment down below, do you use a pump track, a BMX track, or do you just go to the gym? Which one do you do? Let us know, but until next time, stay Velo-worthy.